welcome to government jitri residential science college i am dr arup kumar head of the department of physics physics department was started in the year 2000 at present we have five associate professors and one assistant professor course combination if you want to study physics honors then mathematics is compulsory you can take any one of the following combinations one physics mathematics and chemistry or physics mathematics and electronics or physics mathematics and geology you must be very good in mathematics course structure bsc honors course is divided into six semesters first four semesters are general course while the last two semesters that is fifth and sixth are only honors course physics papers from semester 1 to semester 4 you have one theory paper and one practical paper each when you reach fifth semester you have to study four theory papers and four practical papers similarly in the sixth semester you you have four theory papers and four practical papers so these are all physics papers besides you have to study mathematics and chemistry papers also course contents in general papers semester 1 paper 1 which is properties of matter oscillations and waves to build the foundations of physics mechanics is very important hence the students learn about newton's laws of motion gravitation etc mechanics of solids and special theory of relativity properties of matter for example elasticity fluid motion surface tension etc they also understand about simple harmonic oscillations pendulum free and forced vibrations waves and acoustics etc semester 2 that is paper 2 which is thermodynamics and mathematical physics in this paper students learn about ideal gas real gases kinetic theory laws of thermodynamics etc also basic knowledge of mathematics is important so they learn about vectors curvilinear coordinates and tensors matrices beta and gamma functions in semester 3 that is paper 3 which is electromagnetism and optics students understand the basic laws of electrostatics electric currents networks and circuits alternating currents magnetism and electromagnetic induction also they learn about physical optics or wave optics which are interference diffraction and polarization these are all advanced level courses of class 12 physics which the students studied in semester 4 paper 4 which is atomic physics nuclear physics and solid state physics students learn about basics of modern physics particularly atomic physics atomic structure nuclear physics radioactivity fission fusion etc also a new topic of solid state physics where they study about crystal structures x-ray diffraction bonding in crystals properties of solids like metals dielectrics and semiconductors course contents in honors papers in fifth semesters you have four theory papers paper 5 mathematical physics 2 paper 6 electronics paper 7 classical mechanics and nuclear physics 2 paper 8 atomic and molecular spectroscopy similarly in sixth semester you have four theory papers paper 9 quantum mechanics paper 10 electromagnetic theory paper 11 thermal and statistical physics paper 12 solid state physics 2 besides these theory papers you have also practical papers note that these are all advanced level courses in practical papers you will do practicals in the physics laboratories there are eight practical papers in the honors course credit structure of bsc course in total you have 140 credits in bsc course out of which physics honors has 72 course uh, credits 
मैथमेटिक्स हैज ट्वेंटी फोर क्रेडिट्स केमिस्ट्री इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स और जियोलॉजी हैज ट्वेंटी फोर क्रेडिट्स एंड फाउंडेशन कोर्सेज हैव ट्वेंटी क्रेडिट्स नोट दैट द फाउंडेशन कोर्सेज आर टॉट इन द फर्स्ट फोर सेमिस्टर्स हुई चार इंग्लिश वन इंग्लिश टू हिस्ट्री ऑफ साइंसेज एंड एनवायरमेंटल स्टडीज एग्जामिनेशन एंड असेसमेंट ईच पेपर सेल बी इवोलेटेड एट द स्केल ऑफ हंड्रेड फॉर ऑल पेपर्स irrespective of theory on practical there shall be continuous internal assessment carrying 25 marks and an end semester examination carrying 75 marks the scheme of awarding marks in the internal assessment shall be as follows internal tests carrying 12 marks here two tests will be considered and the average of two tests will be taken home assignment or seminar or project carries 8 marks Regularity in the class or attendance that is five marks in total, twenty-five marks internal in each paper, and the remaining seventy-five marks will be your end semester examination. Course outcome: What happens after B.Sc. honors courses? The students who are among the top twenty percent can pursue M.Sc. course in physics, geophysics. After passing M.Sc. students can pursue research career leading to phd after graduation students can prepare for different exams like banks ssc upsc and other civil services they can become mcs ias ips ifs etc teaching is a noble profession students who are interested in teaching can join secondary schools as a private teach physics teacher after physics honors students who don't like routine jobs can become entrepreneur and start their own business based on some innovative ideas best of luck thank you